This how to cut pavestone porcelain video will show how to cut a 40 mil strip of the one meter edge using a bridge saw, otherwise known as a table saw. I like to score the measurement line every time I do a cut, although most table saws have a bar along the end with measurements on so that you can place the slab on exactly the right measurement that you need to cut off. This saw has a clamp that I'm holding with my left hand. It's there to hold the slab firmly on the table bed and reduces the vibration of the slab. Once I've scored the cutting line, I just slowly pull the blade through the slab each time, allowing it to sink further into the slab and letting the blade do all of the work. On this particular product, it will take four or five passes to complete the cut. As with all porcelain cutting, you should never rush the process as this may cause the slab to crack or break, but rushing can also put unnecessary stress on the motor and on the blade. Notice how I lift the blade out each time I go back to the start. You should never pass the blade back through the cut line as you may snag the blade by going against the direction of the motor. This has resulted in damaged product to some installers. You will see on the third pass that I allow the blade to cut right through the slab on each end to relieve the tension. I also recommend that after every cut the bed is cleaned down using a soft brush or a sponge to make sure there are no small pieces of paving left from previous cuts. Any debris left on the table will make the contact between the slab and the bed uneven and it could cause the slab to vibrate. Sticking with the cleaning down topic, it's a really good idea to change the water in the reservoir regularly, depending on how many cuts you do a day. The dust that forms in the water will clog the blade up and reduce its performance. This should be the fifth and final pass of the blade and the cut will be complete. On this saw you will see there is a side extension table. This is to support the whole slab which is essential. When any part of a slab is unsupported it can cause it to shatter or crack due to the vibration. Some installers even try to get a colleague to hold the overhanging slab. This is not only unsafe it often leads to the paving cracking. You will notice that around three quarters of the way through the cut, the narrow strip comes away from the main part of the paving. I like to keep the cut going just to give a nice clean cut finish. Now, once the cut is complete, you must wait for the blade to stop turning fully before you try to pick up the cut section or move any part of the paving. And there it is, a successful cut of 40 millimeters of the one meter edge of pavestone porcelain paving. For more installation hints and tips, visit the website pavestone.co.uk.